Boss, this is the end of the Cobras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the song. Defeated the Fury, huh? Yeah. That only leaves. I haven't forgotten. Good. But your first priority is to get Sokolov out of the fortress. Right. The ladder at the end of that underground tunnel should take you up into Grosnygrad. Once the Shago Hold is completed, there's no telling how long they'll let Sokolov live. You've got to hurry. The ladder at the end of that underground tunnel should take you up into Grosnygrad. Once the Shago Hold is completed, Snake, be careful. The way to change between standing, crouching, and crawling has changed slightly from the methods learned in training. When standing, press the crawl button briefly to crouch, and press and hold to take a crawling position. Since by crouching you take a lower position, it has a higher camo index than standing, and the added stability of crouching lessens the effect of gun recoil. If you try shooting while crouching, you'll notice your shots will bunch together more consistently than when standing. Press the crawl button while crouching to stand up, and move the left stick to crawl in a direction. When crawling, your camo index becomes extremely high, and your firing of guns becomes even more stable than while crouching. You can move the left stick while on your stomach to crawl in a particular direction. When you are crawling, use small movements of the left stick to crawl silently at the expense of speed. However, be warned that crawling consumes more stamina than simply walking. Press and hold the crawl button while in crawl position to stand up. Press the crawl button briefly to switch to crouch position. Don't forget, if you want to stand up quickly from a crawling position, press and hold the crawl button. Snake, the food you... The other side of that door is blocked by rubble as a result of the Fury's explosion. You won't be able to open it. Forget about it and continue your mission.
You want to say? Hold on a sec. Snake, have you ever heard of...
Do you want to save? Snake, you know the bridge on the River Kwai? Haven't seen it. It's about a group of Allied prisoners in Japanese-occupied Burma in World War II who worked together to build a bridge. Under the leadership of an English officer, the prisoners and the Japanese gradually bring the project toward completion. But at the same time, the Allied forces are hatching a plan to blow up the bridge. War and futility go hand in hand. I suppose so. I didn't think you were the type to go for war movies, though. Actually, this guy invited me to go see it with him. A date? I guess you could call it that. Still, you just don't seem like the type. Well, he seemed to like war movies. He was a Navy boy. I was still an intern back then. They brought him in with a broken leg. He said, when I'm all healed up, will you go see a movie with me to celebrate? If it's okay. He was so shy. Where is he now? With the Seventh Fleet. I see. Infiltration. Commence alert formation.
Ah, your Rykov disguise has turned out nicely. Yeah, not even his own mother could tell the difference. Indeed, you're starting to irritate me already. Why? This look should make me more popular. I wouldn't bet on it, but whatever. Now that you're indistinguishable from the real Rykov, you'll be able to get into the West Wing, to which only Volgin and Rykov have access. Head for the West Wing of the Weapons Lab. That's where Sokolov is being held. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the east wing. Pass west through the main wing and you'll come to a connecting passageway. The west wing is at the other end of that passageway. Infiltrate the west wing and rescue Sokolov. I see you caught an otten frog. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. I tried one. It was pretty tasty. I can see why it's a delicacy. I'm glad to hear it. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. I see you've caught a European rabbit. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. That they eat their own? That's right. It's called cecal feces. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented in the rabbit's appendix, or cecum, and turned into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. Snake, rabbits and humans don't work the... I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? A little, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. I guess not. But how do those seagull feces taste? What? I'm just kidding. Oh. I see you've got yourself a ration. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. No, they're not. Huh? They're disgusting portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. When you get hurt, your body will heal itself naturally over time. However, the speed at which your life recovers depends on how much stamina you have at the time. The more stamina you have, the faster you'll recover. So if you want your wounds to heal quickly, you should eat something and replenish your stamina first. When you're bitten by a vet... Snake, be careful when you... Snake Eye. Huh? Uh, hello there? Paramedic, it's me. Snake? Oh, it's you. For a minute there, I thought you were someone else. Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Yeah, but it looks so cool. Huh? Cool. You know, kind of like a Venusian. A Venusian? I mean, not the crab kind, the other kind. Paramedic. Do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? I know it sounds ridiculous, but still. What if it was a being from another planet? You can't rule out that possibility. (sighs) 
Okay, your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Even if I punch someone in the face? Right. Really? Really. Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the West Wing where Sokolov is being held. To get to the entrance to the West Wing, pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. You can get into the main wing of the weapons lab from the southwest side of the second floor. Head for the main wing. Fine work, sir. Sir. While you're disguised as Rykov, you can press the action button to perform a salute. If you want, why don't you try saluting some of the soldiers and scientists? As long as you're disguised as Rykov, you'll be able to go anywhere in the fortress, and no one will suspect a thing. Now may be a good time to do a little exploring around the place. What a strange coincidence, though. Coincidence? Well, Rykov's full name is Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. And? Ivan is the Russian equivalent of John, and a common nickname for John is Jack. Ah. Uh. You know, in Russian folklore, the youngest son in a family often receives the shabbiest treatment, but is actually cleverer than his brothers, and has the happiest ending of all. That son is usually named Ivan. I don't have any brothers. Really? I could have sworn you had several. What? Ah, your Rykov discard. While you're disguised as Rykov. As long as you're. As long as. Major. Yes? I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? What do you mean? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. You want to know where it comes from? Yeah, if that's all right. That's a bit nostalgic, really. Nostalgic? Hmm, the first British intelligence outfit was established in 1909. The head of the Foreign Intelligence Division was a man named Mansfield George Smith Cumming. He was referred to simply as C after the first letter of his last name. Since then, out of respect for coming, the heads of the SIS have traditionally taken the name of C. 
And James Bond's boss is called M. That's right. I myself was once known as O. And that's where zero comes from. Precisely. In another sense, though, it signifies a ghost, one whose true identity must remain a mystery, the primogenitor of the solo sneaking operation. Is that so? As long as you... Ah, your... Your sensors and other electronic devices cannot be used indefinitely. Once they're activated, they consume battery power. Remember, all items draw power from a single battery. Once your battery runs out, all electronic gear becomes inoperable. You can check your remaining battery power with the icon of any item that uses electricity. Take care not to waste power. The battery recharges automatically when not in use. When you want to recharge the battery, unequip all electronic devices and give it some time. The higher your stamina gauge, the faster your battery recharges. If you want it to recharge faster, eat food and recover your stamina. Also, if you run, roll or do other dramatic actions, the battery will recharge faster. Snake, I don't recommend running around wildly. You need to determine when it's best to run and when it's best just to walk. Move the left stick slightly to walk. You won't move very fast, but it consumes little stamina, and enemies are less likely to detect you. When you are near enemies, or when you need to conserve stamina, those are good times to walk. Snake, there are other ways... As long as you're... Ah, you're... While you're dis... While you're... While you're dis... Here it is. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? I know nothing, I swear it. No one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? 
I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> a man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagohards. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. So, Glove, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Vulcan is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. 
C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It can be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Vulcan's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Hmm. No. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States... I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Not a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> Gotta go. Thanks for that important test data. Okay, so long. I'm here. Let's go. Here I am. What? I'm a weapon scientist. No matter where I go, I'll be used to make horrible things. Amen, bro. Please watch over my family. ライデノビッチライフ。ほう、彼に化けるといいな。ほう。どうやって。ライデノビッチ。彼の服装を奪えばいい。ライデ。ライデ。顔は似てないけど、服装の方が似てる。ライデ。彼は東島のどこかにい